Sí, bueno, hey, hello, yes. Message is for Jason. Jason, hey, f I know you tapping when you don't want to tap and you try and coach me and, oh, hold on, hold on, let me show you. No, let me show you. I don't want to see. Tap, f -er. Don't play that with me, eh? It's time for you. You stop me, stop me, stop me from this mission. I know you know. It's a tap, eh? Okay. It's for Jason. And all those Jasons. Don't be a Jason out there. Fat Lightning here, 42-year-old, ultra-heavy, black belt. Look here, I'm tired of everybody being butt hurt by a fat jitsu. That's what we call it, fat jitsu. The Russians call it smish. Brazilians call it kibrar. Japanese call it kodaku, whatever. We just call it mash at our gym. Like when you body lock a fella and ball up your fist behind their back. We call it giving them a tater. Y'all probably say potato. But we don't carry on when you sit, scoot like a dog with an itchy butt, so don't beller about it when we give you the tater. Fat people got fat ways, son. Carry on. I wanted to vent about my husband who trains jujitsu. Every day he talks about jujitsu. Every morning he talks about jujitsu. And every night he talks about jujitsu. Sometimes he cries talking about jujitsu, and he didn't even cry when our daughter was born or when we got married. So that tells me that he really, really loves jujitsu. So thank you. So when it comes to jujitsu, I like to be caffeinated and stoned and hydrated, of course. But the problem is, if I get too hydrated, I piss too much. Got to retie my pants, retie my belt. If I get too stoned, I get all confused and just kind of start wandering off. If I get too caffeinated, my heart gets all fucky and I get tired quicker. But this magical thing happens around 200 milligrams of caffeine, a big old puff off the Benjamin, and about a liter of water. And it's like the Mega Morphin Power Rangers, when they come together and make the big motherfucker that just kicks everybody's ass. That's where I like to be, baby. Oh my gosh. I am 48 years old, and I need a better hobby. Last night, I had two 20-somethings who were both uh, wrestlers and another young 30-year-old going against me. I had a purple heart when one of, you know, before those kids were even born. I had a purple heart from the military. And now I got to go against them, and they're treating it like it's the ADCC championship. We were working on shield, or knee shield, dude. Pump the brake, but oh, he was trying. He was trying, so I just, you know, I'm like, I let him pass. Okay. Then when he got the full sparring, he saw the angry old veteran come out. I was trying to send him back to whatever God he believed in. Oh, it felt terrific feeling him tap. Just that, yeah, and it's not an ego thing. It was just stop. First, they give me the white belt, and then they give me a stripe, another stripe. I keep coming to class. I get three stripes. Now, I wait for one more stripe, right? But one more, four stripes, and you get your blue belt. Man, I will put everybody's ass there, man. No, uh, the white belts, they can't control me. The blue belts hate to roll with me because I'm strong. And the purple belts, they try to enforce, but sometimes, man, they, they don't know where the balance is. I kind of balance sweep. They get mad, you know? The brown belts, they, they know what's up. But I'm gonna keep showing up, man. I'm gonna keep showing up. You know, maybe I'm gonna just start washing my my white bed with all my blue clothes. That's what I'm gonna do. Give it a little tint, you know. Manifest it. Let's go. Whoa. I'm like a like a two year white belt. Like two years on and off. I'm not good at all, but I I like it a lot. So I go a lot. But I'm fat. I'm kind of lazy. And I have a good time, man. It's always just a, a hoot and a half. But I'll tell you. Whenever I leave town, I try to find, a, like, a gym to go to in that town. I always tell them, sorry, I'm a white belt. I'm out of shape, but I just want to train at your gym. And there's nothing that gets other white belts more juiced than seeing a white belt from a different gym 
every single end of class role whenever you're in a city that you ain't living and you're another white belt, it's like the fucking challenger division for those guys. I swear to God, I'm in like Tuscaloosa right now or something like that. And this morning, this dude with little tattoos on his hands makes eyes with me across the mat. He has like four stripes on his white belt. Dude is like breathing heavy just thinking about wanting to roll with me. And I was like, yeah, dude, let's go. You're going to wreck me. You're going to feel great. You're going to look tough in front of your friends. I got news. I just treat this like Pilates. I just try to lose a little weight, buddy. Have a good time. Four straight white belt here, and I just wanted to let my homies know that no, I didn't wash out. I joined the morning class five days a week. We get up at five in the morning. We murder each other at six, off to work by seven. Sometimes you have a fresh gee burn on your face in the Zoom meeting. But everyone knows at work that you do, like, that weird karate stuff, so they're cool about it. Yes, we do talk about how we're better than you. Nice people, you know. Maybe not better at jiu-jitsu, but we're definitely, you know, like, better. You know. Deep down, you know. Anyway, uh, it's 8 p.m., but I got to go to bed, so good night, bros. This is an ultra heavyweight blue belt here. One thing I really want to do in jiu-jitsu is to get cauliflower ear, you know? You know how much of a badass some people look when they have cauliflower ear? And then, like, I want to look like I train, too. And, like, it's so cool, you know? It's just, like, I want to – I just want to be a savage, you know? Blue belt here. I just want to complain about the mother. Anytime you get them in a good position where you have an advantage over them, they want to be like, oh, let's move, let's move, we're going to hit someone. That someone is eight feet away. Bro, you're about to get an arm bar. Oh, no, my feet is touching the edge of the mat. We got to move. You fucking motherfucker. Thank you. Hey, guys. Purple Belt here. This is for all my non-Brazilians out there. Some of y'all get a little overzealous with the word pojada. And, uh, you know, like, it can be fun, you know, but if you got the hat, you got the shirt, you say it on the mat, hey, you want to go pojada? And you say it, it's like, slow it down, you know what I mean? Like, your name's Kevin, you work in finance, your name's not Cavino, okay? So just, like, slow it down, you know? It's fun. It's just fucking cool, right? Just a big shout out to everybody wrist locking. If you know how to wrist lock somebody from every position, you're the goat. I know people get crazy with the legs, crazy with inverted guards, X guard, whatever. Nothing better than hitting the darkest of arts, a nasty wrist lock. Do they work? Probably. How often? Who cares? Go for it. Grip it and rip it. Love you. Bye. Shout out to your training partners. It's really important that on the days that you don't want to show up, that you show up because you're probably somebody's favorite training partner. I know I've got mine, and it's hard to match that sparring energy, that rolling energy, the kind of energy that you get when you got somebody that's matching your vibe. That That's when the art really takes its form. Everybody relies on everybody to get the good rolls in. You stinky, no gee washing people. I want to talk about smelly gee guy. Uh, you guys that don't wash your uniform, are you kidding me? Spoiler alert, we can all smell you. And I'm over here tapping because of, of the smell. Why do we have to shut the gym down for a week? Because you brought staff in and we got to disinfect all the mess. It's contagious, not my gee stank. There's no way these people can't smell themselves like they know. Bro, you gotta wash your gi every time after you roll. You hear me, stinky? Wash your ass good. You smell terrible. You smell like living ringworm. While you're washing it, do it inside out. Throw it in some vinegar. Let it soak. Then you throw it in the washer and you dry it. Put a nice dryer sheet in there. Dry that shit up and come to class with your gi smelling like f***ing flowers, okay? Wash your gi. Wash your gi. Wash your gi. Stink. Wash your gi. Stinky. Wash your gi. 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 W
You smell you wash, wash your freaking geese. Wash, wash your geese, you nasty, geese. nasty turkeys. Show your roll over everything, motherfuckers. Matt Etiquette. Trim your fucking nails and wash your fucking geese. It's not that fucking hard.